Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through how to install Zephyr RTOS on Ubuntu operating system, a powerful real-time operating system for embedded development. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced developer, uh, this guide will get you up and running in no time. Let's get it started. Okay, let's go to the Zephyr project uh, website, which is uh, Zephyr project uh, dot org, which is this web page. We can see about the Zephyr project that it's an open source. Uh, collaborative uh, effort uh, uniting developer and users in building a best-in-class small uh, scalable real-time operating system that uh, optimize for resource constraint resource constraint device across multiple architectures and if you want to know uh, if the Zephyr is supporting your architecture or no, you can see here in community supported board that you can here see that lots of boards and architecture are uh, supporting by Zephyr. And in my case, um, my board is Nucleo F401RE. I can see, we can see that it's here and it's supported by Zephyr under this name. This name will be needed in the future, but for now, we just need to know that. Now my board is supported by Zephyr. Okay, let's go to uh, start with install the Zephyr project. We can go to the getting started guideline. You can see it's here under the technical resources. Uh, develop, developing with Zephyr getting started guide. Here there is a very good instruction to how to install Zephyr, which we are going through. First step is to make sure that our, our operating system is updated. So we need to use this command sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade, which I did it so it won't take time in the uh, in the tutorial. Next thing is to install the requirement. Uh, here you can see all the requirements. So we copy and paste them in the terminal and okay my password. So everything is good to go. And we need to check that if the version of the requirements are updated and it is newer than uh, this version, which for CMake is 3.20. So let's make sure my CMake version is, yes, it's 3.28, which is uh, which is newer than the minimum version, so it's good to go. And just um, you need to know if your Ubuntu is older than 2204, you need to use Kitware. So you need to use these commands uh, and uh, but mine is 
24 so I don't need to install Kitware and, and let's check my Python version okay Python 3 yes it is 312 which is good good and it's newer and then device tree which is DTC version and yeah it's good to go but it's if your uh, version is older so you need to update your CMake Python and device tree next uh, we need to install the Python uh, dependency to create a, a virtual environment for that we need to install Python VNV so yes and then create a Python 3 virtual environment and then activate okay in source activate so you can see my virtual environment is now activated but make sure that there is no other environment virtual environment activated before uh, so there will be a conflict um, for that you can deactivate your other and then active your Zephyr project virtual environment then we need to install west with pipe install uh, good things to know that every time you use uh, your Zephyr project you need to activate your virtual environment don't forget that next we need to initialize or our Zephyr project West Zephyr in Zephyr project then open the Zephyr project and then update the vest so it will take some time and to update west and it will uh, it will make some time uh, okay now uh, it took like 10 minutes to uh, to get the Zephyr source code and uh, to create a workspace and initial the Zephyr project so now we need to export the Zephyr CMake package so west Zephyr export I think there's X port has been added to the user package okay and now we need to add the extension Now we need to install the Zephyr SDK. So I will go to the to this web page, then to install uh, the Zephyr, we can copy. So let's wait to this to finish and then 
in the Zephyr project installation SDK uh, we can find the SDK installation and structure and copy this part and then okay it will take uh, some time so I will cut the video and come back after finishing the mm, uploading the Zephyr SDK downloading sorry downloading the Zephyr SDK and back to with the next steps so uh, we uh, get the uh, SDK downloaded so now we need to extract it as you can see this version was uh, 17 so the name is also 17 so let's extract it and then we need to run the setup so, so I extracted uh, the SDK and now cd the Zephyr SDK and run the setup yes and Yes. So press any key to exit. Okay. So, and now install UDEV. I prefer to install UDEV. You can do it also. And then Okay, the SDK um, now is installed, being installed, and now we need to, uh, everything is good and looks good, and I need to, to make sure that my uh, project is working mm, properly, I need to use a blinky sample uh, west okay I will copy this and paste it here and use the use my board instead of as you may remember it was nuclear um, re so okay there's something wrong what is uh, see above checking in couple of the car so let me see what's the problem Okay, I think I used my name of the board. It's not that. So let's see what's happened. Yeah, as you can see, it's everything was good and installation is successful and uh, I can uh, I can build uh, the uh, project and thanks for watching 
uh, this video and if you have any question drop them in the comments below. Uh, I'll be happy to help.